Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to do this shells blanket where we start in the middle and work shells in rounds and finally we end up with a blanket. I use mine as a baby blanket and I use cotton so it's a bit on the heavy side but it's very comforting for the baby. So let's get started. The materials you will need for this, I use this cotton yarn, it's 100% cotton and in a size 8.8. 8. And then you'll need a crochet hook size 4.5 millimeters, some scissors and a tapestry needle. To begin this blanket we make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take your yarn behind the loop, grab the yarn from the middle and pull. Then we chain 4. One, two, three, and four. Then we double crochet in this first stitch down here in the, four, in the first chain. So we yarn over and insert the needle in the first chain. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Then we chain one and do another double crochet in this first chain. Yarn over, insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, like that, and yarn over, pull through two. So this one counts as a double crochet and one chain and then we did a double crochet chain one double crochet then chain another and do a double crochet in the same chain where we did the others and then we chain one yet again until we have eight double crochet with a chain in the middle when you got your eight double crochet, it is looking like this with double crochet and a space in between where we chained. So after this eighth double crochet, we chain one and then we connect with a slip stitch in this top chain up here. Like this. And we have our first round. Then for this next round we will be working into these spaces. So for this first space we have here we do a slip stitch and then we chain three. One, two, three. This one is our first double crochet into this space and we will do another six double crochet into the same space to make our first shell. So we yarn over and insert the needle in the same space where we just did the slip stitch and do a double crochet. And another. So you see this one counts as a double crochet and we have three and we need seven in total. So we will just do seven double crochet and we now have four. We have six and we only got one more to go and that's seven. So now we have our first shell sitting in this first gap and now we are working in the next gap right here. We will do a single crochet in this next gap. So insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over pull through two. Then for this next one we do seven double crochet into this 
gap and then a single crochet in this gap and seven double crochet into this one and a single and seven double until we are at the end. When we're done with the last seven double crochet in the last shell, we only got one more single crochet to go in this one. So just insert your needle and do a single crochet. And then we need to connect them and we do a slip stitch with that. So just slip stitch in this top chain. And we now have our little flower with four shells and four single crochet. So from now on, this will be the corners of our blanket. These four. And we will now be working the first corner. So from here on, we chain three. And then we yarn over and go back and do a double crochet into this gap. So just go down in the gap, wrap the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. Just like a regular double crochet, just going backwards. So now you have your first V stitch sitting right here. And we will now chain three. One, two, three. And we will do another V stitch in the same gap where we just did the double crochet. So we yarn over, insert the needle and do one double crochet. Then chain one and do another double crochet in the same space. So now we have our first corner. This is our first V-stitch right here and our chain three and our V-stitch. So going forward, we will go over this with chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and we will do the next corner the same way as we did this one so we yarn over and do a v stitch in this gap so insert your needle do a double crochet then chain one do another double crochet in the same space. Then chain three. And do another V stitch in the same gap. So that's one double crochet. Then chain one and do another. So now we have the next corner and it's beginning to look a little more like a corner and it's beginning to form like a square. So five chains. And then another corner, a V stitch, chain three, another V stitch, and then chain five over this one and continue all the way around until we are back here. We now have our first uh, frame round and the frame for our next round with shells. So I just did my last five chains and I will connect this with the first V stitch we did in the corner. So just insert your needle and do a slip stitch. So now we are going to do a row of shells, a round of shells. And in this first V-stitch, we will do one slip stitch. 
in the v-stitch and then chain three and then another six double crochet into this v-stitch this one counting as the first one so seven in total and six more to go so yarn over insert your needle in the v-stitch and do another six double crochet into this stitch and when we have those we have this chain three we do a single crochet into this one and then we have another v-stitch and we will do seven double crochet in this v-stitch as well so for every v-stitch we do seven double crochet we just yarn over insert your needle in the v-stitch and double crochet so do seven double crochet in total in this v-stitch and we almost got them done Oops, that was one, two, three, four, five. And we only got two more to go for this V-stitch. And that's it. We have two shells. And now we need to attach these two together, this chain five to this shell. So, we count four of these in the shell, and in the fourth stitch in the shell, we do a single crochet. So, insert your hook in the fourth stitch in the shell, and do a single crochet. So, now they are connected. And we have another v-stitch where we do seven double crochet just continue doing seven double crochet into this one then do a single crochet into this chain three and you do another seven double crochet into this one and then you do a single crochet in the fourth to We'll connect these two and then seven double crochet and a single crochet into this one and seven double crochet all the way around until we back here when we're at the end of the round we are looking at this and we not just need to anchor this one together with a single crochet in the fourth shell in the fourth double crochet in the shell from the previous row and just a single crochet then we do a slip stitch in this top chain to connect the ends and that's it we have another row of shells so you see we have the corners right here and then we have the sides so now we will be working another row, uh, another round of frame for the next row of shells. So we chain three, one, two, three, and that's the beginning of each frame round. And we do a double crochet in this space behind the stitch. So we yarn over insert the needle in this space and do a double crochet and then we have this v-stitch sitting right here and that's part of the side and we will now be working over to the corner right here so over this shell we will do five chains one two three 
five. And for every corner, we work in between these two shells a double V stitch. So we yarn over, insert the needle in between the spaces, the shells, and do a double crochet. Then we chain one, do another double crochet, and that's the first V stitch. And because it's a corner, we chain three. And do another V stitch in the same space. So do one double crochet. And chain one. And another double crochet. And that's how we do corners each time. Remember that. Then we chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we get to a part of a, a side where we would do a V-stitch right here. So we yarn over and do a V-stitch in between these shells. So a double crochet with a chain one in the middle. And you see a frame becoming. And we will now be doing five chain again and then another corner. And remember in the corner we do a double V-stitch with first a double crochet with a chain and then a double crochet, chain three. And then another V-stitch, then five chains and a V-stitch in the side, and then another corner, all the way until you are at the beginning of this round. So now when we have our frame round, I just anchor this down and I will do a slip stitch in this first stitch up here. So, to connect these. And then we will begin a row of shells in this frame. So to begin this, we chain three, two, three, and then for this V stitch, we do six more double crochet to make a seven in total. This one counting as one. So we have a shell right here. Then we anchor it down with a single crochet into this shell right here. So we anchor this strand of chains down right here. Then for the next V-stitch in the corner, we do another shell with seven double crochet. For the corner, we single crochet one. Then we do seven double crochet into this V-stitch, making a shell. Then we anchor it down with one single crochet into this fourth shell, fourth double crochet in the shell. Then for the next V-stitch on the side, we do another shell with seven double crochet, making a shell right here. And then anchor it down and do another shell and a single crochet all the way around. Sorry. <laughs> then you do another frame round. You just go back in the video if you can't remember how. But we will keep adding more V-stitches to the sides each time. So for this frame there's only one V-stitch. But for the next frame up here there will be two v-stitches because it will get wider and wider and you just continue until you think your blanket is big enough and you stop there so good luck and when we're done we have this 
beautiful, beautiful blanket. I used mine as a baby blanket and I absolutely love this pattern and it's beautiful on both sides. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow and I hope you want to subscribe to my channel to see what I do next. I make a new tutorial every week, so until then, bye!